And Karen, as you know, this isn't the first time it's happened here. University officials once again promising to increase security here on campus, while some students say those promises aren't doing enough. We're all attending this university to gain an education and not to be afraid. As the crime alerts were sent out. Anytime I do read them, you know, it's it brings a sense of like almost dread. Word quickly spread. We all kind of know each other in some capacity. And so did fear amongst DePaul University students. I think we definitely need like more of a police presence. And I think like we have to like acknowledge the fact that like crime is actually occurring like within our city. Always got to keep that one AirPod out you know, looking over because you never know what's going to happen. Chicago police now investigating after multiple students were targets of violent robberies overnight in at least two separate attacks on campus ground. The first one happened just after 10 last night near the campus's quad area off of Seminary and Belden. That's when the university says two male suspects wearing black hoodies and gray pants walked up on three students sitting on this hill demanding their cell phones before striking one of them, a 16 year old girl, and getting away with all of their property. It really hit me like how are you know, students getting, you know, mugged and assaulted on basically my, my own front front porch. Hours later, just after two this morning, the university says three more students were robbed outside of this dormitory at Racine and Belden, where student Diego Galoza lives. This shouldn't have to be constantly happening to us. Authorities say four masked armed suspects wearing all black hopped out of a car demanding the students belongings. Police say a 19 year old woman who initially refused to give up her things was then pistol whipped before the thieves got away. And the university says in both of the incidents, the suspects got away in a silver Toyota Prime. If you have any information, you are asked to call police. So far, no one has been arrested. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.